Hey! Hey! And welcome down to the quest for the open vlog and this is going to be a vlog mainly about motivation probably <coughs> because this time of year is a bit of a funny time for me. When it gets into the October the weather starts to turn and generally comps aren't coming up as much. Historically I've always found this time of year really tough to keep practicing to keep motivated uh go for the quest for the open now so that's going to give me more incentive but still i can feel myself over the last few weeks just almost stepping off the gas slightly and i need to really get my foot back to the floor so it's tuesday now and pretty much all throughout today's huge afternoon and yesterday monday i've just been at home and i've just been going through ideas of what i want to do with the channel and what I want to do in my golf game. Now, I've already making some swing changes, I've already made some changes to my putter. The rest of my game does need to be evaluated and worked on, uh, but also there's other stuff, especially on the battle board, which I've not touched yet. And I've been focusing on how to get those a little bit more to the forefront of my mind all at the same time. And there's one in particular, there's one in particular, which today should give me a little bit more of an insight for now on the battle board I've got my comp goals here and this is all stuff that I've not managed to tick any of these off at this moment in time but these are stuff that I want to get done uh, throughout the comps until open qualifying next year. And now I've got these which are my practice ones. Again stuff that I have done, stuff that I have done here so far but the stuff that I need to work on. Obviously these two very high on the agenda after the last videos that you may have seen. But on this one, this general stuff, this top one here, getting healthy, that is something, as well as this fitness program here, that I've simply not managed to do yet. Now fitness and health is always something that I have struggled with, to be honest. I was overweight as a kid, uh, definitely. Then I started getting more into football, more into golf. Went through a phase when I got to about 17, 18 of actually being really fit. Then kind of slipped off again. Then in my early 20s, I was training for a triathlon, uh, which got me to the fittest point I've ever been in my life. The biggest issue for fitness with me is the motivation to get going with it. And generally speaking, people will only do something and they'll only start to break their conventions and break out of their comfort zones if they've got a real tangible goal in mind and this year at this moment in time i've been going to the gym i've been working out occasionally but there's never been a real goal in mind you know i've never really had something to aim for and if you are someone who does train regularly the chances are that you are going to be training towards something, training towards a purpose, you know, having a goal in mind that you're really striving towards. And at this moment in time, apart from me just saying to myself, I want to get fitter, I don't have any of those goals. So I find it very, very hard to keep going and to get out of bed early, to go running just for the sake of it. So what I need to do is find myself a goal. I need to find myself a challenge we should compete towards. The quest for the open stuff for my golf practice has done wonders because it it helps motivate me, it helps say, listen, you've got to practice this, you've got to practice that, you've got to get yourself out of bed and do something. Now with the fitness stuff, I'm at the moment, I'm waking up early in the morning and I'm just like, you know what, maybe I could just grab another hour in bed, it'll do me good, you know, that's the justification that I'm trying to use. And if you're justifying not exercising, then something has to give. Now I've got a phone meeting slash conversation later on with someone I earlier this year who I respect a lot and she's done amazing things and hopefully we're going to try and do a bit of a collaboration project together which is exciting. Uh, but for now, got to do some shopping. Back home and I'm about to place the call. I will let you know, I'll let you know in time about this because it's going to take a lot of planning and a lot of work to do what I want to do but then if we get this sorted it's going to be awesome morning it's a very lovely sunny day in Manchester today pleasantly cool not too hot not too cold just right that Goldilocks zone of temperatures I'm down at High Lee Golf Centre which is near Mere uh, it's in Nutsford I'm just going to have a bit of a uh, Bit of a knock, bit of a play, and do some course vlogs. It's just good to get out of the house, and so many ideas bubbling around my head. I need to, 
I need to go through a lot of them and get them on paper, but for now, I'm just gonna have a wander around. My normal, my normal walk. You're not even on the phone, are you? You just like to be cool, you're not even doing anything. What's wrong with you? That's not even be social, okay. Just talking to me. Had a nice meal. And now we're wandering over to Dan Whitaker's Golf Academy. I'm here, of course, with Richard Shields. Hey, I don't, I don't generally. I've got my phone when you get video of it. In fact, that's you oh, your phone, phone anyway. <laughs> now Dan Whitaker is based here at Highley. This is where Rick has his swing crafted. He always has to creep in. I think he's coming. All right. Oh, me, me, Gordon. Okay. I've never been on a secret mission before. Creeping in. Hello, Gordon. Looking some files over from the vlog today. Got five minutes, so Rick tells a joke. <clears throat> My golf on the front line. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Very pleasant around there, highly. And this is the American Golf National Golf Academy. It's got a big store in there. Driving range out the back. And how many holes has it got here? 36. <clears throat> Sorry, it used to have it used to have 36, and then they've kind of molded. Um, they've molded a championship 18, then they've got an academy 9, and then they've got a junior 6. Okay. It's kind of, they've molded the holes quite a bit. There's been many different layouts this golf course, but it was nice today, wasn't it? It's worked out alright. Nice I think it's worked nice out alright. It's a shame that yeah. kind of. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'll get back to me. Rick's Rick, Rick, Rick got something else to say. What, what else was it? I don't think I did. I thought I was just filling time, but time sensitive on your <laughs> vlog, isn't it? Oh, you got to be snappy. <laughs> I can tell. Just when you start speaking, you think crocodile. Snappy. <laughs> <laughs> so just finally got down to Sale Golf Club. It is now Thursday. Um, very lazy morning again this morning. Really do need to put a, uh, a rocket up myself, is the polite way of saying it, to really get myself going. There's a couple of comps which I've eyed to play in there in November. But it's, I don't know, the thing is I've got, there's so much going on at this moment in time as far as different projects, different filming stuff that I'm trying to get off the ground and trying to do. My focus is more on that than playing. Coincide that with the end of the season, the fact it's getting colder. Motivation <laughs> isn't quite there at the moment, but it, it'll, it'll come back. It's the same as anything. These things do come and go. So I'm not overly concerned, certainly, <laughs> certainly the fitness stuff that I've got in mind as well that's going to force me not to be lazy at all so I'm going to try and rush around 80 well not rush around try and get around 18 holes as quick as I can then get to the gym then get back edit this and do some other stuff that I should have done this morning That is Tech Tuesday Finch Friday filmed, which are going to be going up tomorrow uh, and Saturday, obviously. Why wouldn't it? Uh, with all the uh, all the mess ups that I've had. What am I actually? What am I saying? Mess ups. So the course vlogs were out early this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Hence the reason the Q and A's are tomorrow and Saturday. I'm sure you'll be fine with it. The course vlogs were pretty funny in the end. A um, couple under a sale and played pretty well. Certainly came off the course feeling a lot more motivated than I went on to it. Uh, it's amazing what a good round of golf can do. And you know what? I'm excited about the next few weeks. Next week I'm away on a trip uh, to Latvia with the family, which I'm really excited about. Uh, my mum's side of the family, they're all Latvian, so it's going back to the 
Homeland, which I've only been to once uh, before. So I'm really, really excited about that, spending some time with the family as well. And then when I get back, it's back into a lot of filming, back into a lot of coaching, and hopefully back into a lot of practice and play as well. It's going to be... It's going, to be an, it's going to be an interesting month, October. And certainly the start of November, early December, so much stuff going on. So much stuff going on that I'll tell you guys about uh, as we get near the time, because there's a lot to be sorted yet. A little bit of a side note as well. Today, I managed to hit 75,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is amazing. Um, I, yeah, it's brilliant. And it's so exciting to see the, the channel is growing and looking at how my subscribers are growing as well you know hopefully by not too far into next year i should be at the 100k mark as well i started filming these videos three years ago next month um well in a couple of months three years ago and it's grown so quickly and so much and a lot of you guys who've been watching from the very very start you know you'll know how much the, this channel has progressed with the content that's gone on there and for the guys who are just joining the channel just starting to watch it's so exciting to have you on board going forward. You know, hopefully, you know, we'll still be, you'll still be watching these in three years time. Fingers crossed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right guys, thanks for watching. And yeah, I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, follow me on my other social media platforms as well. Get this edited, get this uploaded and get the other stuff done as well. Cool. Cool, cool. <laughs>